Hi guys Bimsara from TechB here. In earlier video I've shown you guys to install Windows 11 Developer Preview on older hardware. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to install Windows 11 Insider on same hardware. The device I'm gonna use for this is old HP Intel Core i5 3rd gen laptop with 8 gigs of RAM. Before we start can you guys subscribe? Thank you. For your ease I've divided my video to parts so you can watch what part you need. And this will answer some of your questions. First I'm gonna show you guys quick preview of Windows 11 Developer Preview. This is pretty same to Windows 10 on some aspects. As you can see task bar and start menu is changed. But widgets panel is not working properly. Let me show it quick. As you can see it's not showing. And also Microsoft Store is same as Windows 10. Notification panel and battery menu is slightly different but pretty much same to Windows 10. And also settings is lot similar to Windows 10 with couple of extras. And also it has new themes. Now I will show you how to update Windows 11 Developers Preview to Windows 11 Insider. For this go to Settings. Update. Windows Insider Program. In here you have to sign in and you will get a menu like this. In Insider Settings select Dev Channel. And go to Windows Update and check for updates. Now you will get Windows 11 Insider Update. But this will still check for TPM so my device can't be updated via this method. Now I will show you guys how to clean install Windows 11 Insider to your PC. As you can see this is Windows 11 Developer Preview. For this method you will need a USB pen drive. But keep in mind this will be formatted. So if you have important files on pen drive backup them. Now you have to download Windows 11 Insider ISO and Windows 10 ISO. I will leave links in the description to download required files. Now create a new folder and name it Windows 10 for easy recognition. Now open Windows 10 ISO by WinRAR and go to Sources folder. Search for install.esd or find for the largest file in directory. Now select all except install.esd now extract selected files to Windows 10 folder which we have created.
Okay, it's now booted of no problem so far. As first impression it's pretty different from Windows 11 developers preview. Let's check settings and enable dark mode. Okay now I'm gonna install Intel graphics. Let's see it will work or not. Yeah it's installed no problem and working fine. Let's go through this drivers real quick. Everything installed no problem and let's restart. Oh now lock screen is pretty different too. Gotta say but I hate this new right click window. All the panels are different too. Interesting. Those are nice changes. Let's see task manager. No difference here. Don't mind the CPU usage. I will show you again the resource usage after updating all. Let's connect to Wi-Fi. Everything is pretty different. Nice. Still widgets not working. That's a bummer. Now let's go to settings. Oh what about Microsoft Store? That's same as well. But setting has changed. Now it's similar to Android. Nice. Let's check for updates. So I got few driver updates and system updates. Main while it's installing let's check fingerprint is working. Oh it's working. Nice. Let's go through this real fast. Now I will go through these settings just to show you guys. Let's add icons to desktop. Everything is working fine. Oh updates are done. Let's restart. Now I will show you a fresh boot up. It takes around 12 seconds to boot up. Not bad. This is after all updates and I haven't find any major problem so far. I like the new UI also. Everything is working fluently. Now I will show you new apps. Oh now Windows give you new video editor. Not like professional ones but pretty good for basic stuff. Great.
Now let's check control panel. I'm glad they didn't ditch this. As you can see this is Windows 11 Insider Preview and also this is activated. These are the changes in File Explorer. I didn't really like it but I think I can get used to it. Now I will show you resource usage while idling. Let's go to the task manager and see. So this is working super fine on my third gen i5. Not too shabby. So I'm gonna wind up my video here. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. That's the best help you can do for me. Thanks.